here and welcome to Speak More. Thanks for coming back again to watch another one of my videos. Today we'll be speaking about sex. Let's talk about sex. I don't sex, think we sex. should talk about this. Come on, why not? People might misunderstand what we're trying to say, you know? But that's a part of life. I'm joined by a young king, a world changer, Michaela Mean. What does sex mean to you? Damn! <laughs> that's a question. Sex is an act performed by two human beings for pleasure or for creation purposes. Why do you think for some people it starts off as a thing as pleasure, of pleasure? And why do you think for some people it starts and stops there At as pleasure. just being pleasure? Of it's, course it's, it's great. Because it's great. <laughs> it's it's good. It. It's fun. The biggest feeling you could get in terms of a euphoric ecstasy. People chase that feeling. Especially if you're not get in it anywhere else sex actually is a creative force when you have sex you create life you understand what if you don't create life when you have sex what if it's just sex is it still a creative force it's still a creative force it's just wasted a person that's creating something yeah whether you be an artist or a performance artist or someone who's just really in when you're in tune with something that you love doing you get that same orgasmic feeling yeah. any artist who loves what they do will tell you when they're on stage and you get that crowd roaring and the response when you come off stage you are finished just like you had sex because yeah. you poured all of yourself out where a lot of people are depressed um physic uh, mentally oppressed spiritually do you know what i mean they don't get that high from a lot of things i feel like life in itself is created to give you that high in different moments the way that our system has been set up, we operate like slaves. We go to work, we go to school, yeah. um, and outside of that, we're sleeping or we're looking at the television. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And so what sex does, it gives you that feeling of purpose. Mm. It gives you that feeling of, you know, excitement, you feel alive. Like when you drink or get high, that's what sex is. Sex is that, that high. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I feel like people that engage in that, like, yeah vigorously people that engage in that i feel it's because really and truly you ain't got nothing better to do not to say that people shouldn't have sex regularly but sex takes a lot out of you yeah. especially for a man it takes a lot out of you because you're pouring into the woman so the woman can bring out life because you're giving her a life force so you can then take another life force it's an investment into her does that not mean that he has to put a lot into her no that's why men go to sleep after they have sex. They can't do nothing else. Oh, okay, you mean physically? I'm talking physically. Oh, okay, cool. I'm talking physically. Like sex, the way it's designed, it's designed to invest in the woman. She's like the land. You put the seed in because you want to get an apple tree. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. You want the apple. So you, you give her all of that because yeah. you're investing in your future. Anything other than that, you're really just kind of killing yourself. After sex, you can't really do much. I interviewed Little Wayne. And uh, it, the guy was asking him, like, how do you have time for all these women that you speak about? And he goes, I don't have sex. He goes, I ain't got time for shit like that. Raps about it, because he knows that's what everyone else is doing like, yeah. out there. But he's he himself, he goes, I'm in the studio. I'm setting up business. I'm doing all of this. I ain't got time for no bitches. That's what he says. I ain't mm -hmm. got time for it. Because it's real. You ain't got time to have that much sex. Because if you do have time <laughs> to have that much sex... Your real life can't be... There must be nothing to it. I agree with you. A person who's on their shit Isn't... ain't got much time <laughs> to be engaged in that, like, compulsively. Yeah. Like, you ain't got time to be doing that. Yeah. Because you're trying to do so much other stuff that gives you that high anyway. That's just... That you is... You get what I'm saying? That so, is the truth. Sex is a momentary high. Mm. Like I said, it's an investment to set up a business. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm right at, at the start. I'm losing... Mm. But I'm doing that to invest in something to come yeah, later. Yeah. That's what sex is. As you keep having sex, you just take pouring, pouring, pouring. You ain't getting nothing back. Mm. Especially if it's like on a casual thing. Say you're not having sex for a child. There's casual sex you can have with someone who builds you up. Like a woman who is with a man, but she spiritually lifts him mm. in his life to do what he's meant to do. It strengthens them both. But again, to be... Going in like that, I feel like you must have a lot of time on your hands. And of course, because what happens is, I feel like people need to look for something else creatively 
to express themselves because what happens is you you will end up feeling depressed mm. and you end up needing it. It become like yeah. a fix. Yeah. It become the only thing that validates you. Yeah. Where a lot of people get lost in like yeah. my whole life is shit, but every time I have sex, it's the best. I feel the best I've ever felt. You said sex is the lowest form of intimacy. It is. Yeah. I think it is. Sex is the lowest form of intimacy. It's it's innate. It doesn't take any intelligence to have sex. And you can have it with anyone. For real, I just feel like um, intimacy is not confined to sex. That's what most people think. Oh, yeah. we were intimate. If I said we were intimate, you know, intimacy is not about sex. It's not about even a man or woman. Intimate is like a... It's a, it's, it's a definition of a how, connection. how close you are, how connected you are, how, you know... And it's almost like an understanding. Sex is a part of someone's nature. So it doesn't take any intellect for it to be... Um, a high form of intimacy, do you understand? You know, sex is done by everything and it, that's the one thing we have over the animals is our intelligence, do you understand? You know, and the way we can use our intelligence, that's what we have over animals, but all animals have sex. Yeah. That's a carnal thing, do you understand? But intimacy is more intellectual. There's sometimes even bigger rewards from being intellectually intimate with somebody than just having sex with the person. You have sex with them, that's it. We could be intimate in terms of sharing ideas and creating something, and that could flip and change the world, literally. Yeah. Because of how connected we are with a certain idea. Whereas sex is sex, we can bring a child into this world, but even that, that could change the world potentially, but if me and you ain't right to begin with, that's actually more detrimental to the world yeah. than anything, do you get what I'm trying to say? So Definitely. I think that's where that statement is coming from. That's a strong, very, very powerful statement. I would have thought sex you... in a sentence. Sex from your point of view, not the Oxford Dictionary. It would be interesting to know what the dictionary... Do you have a dictionary? The instinct or attraction drawing one sex toward the another or its manifestation in life and conduct. So, it's basically what I said. Sex is just the act. Sex. Me and you had lunch, we had a high five, we had sex. Thank you for listening to Speak More and thank you, Mikel, for joining me. So... A challenge for you will be to talk about sex with someone. As Mikkel said, anyone can have sex, but not everyone can connect on an intellectual or spiritual level. So, let's talk, talk about, about sex. Come on, why not? People might misunderstand what we're trying to say, you know?